Hello, Ben. What's the dude on the lake again? Hey, here's a here's a quick video with a couple things in it. Uh, so be sure to watch it to the end. It's only six or seven minutes. Here's my old DeWalt. Uh, it's got a unique handle on it. Ironically, the handle still works. It seems to work fine. Uh, it's kind of got a neat little bend on it. The rest of the tool is frozen. There's a paddle switch safety. And here's the meat of it. You'll notice there's no guard on it. And the... Uh, um, the sanding disc, I, those are either 24 or 36 typically uh, disc and then they're on just a plastic plastic wheel there. And you'll notice the one I pulled off there, I don't have a spacer under it so I can get more meat on the uh, on that rubber piece there or in, on the uh, uh, nut that goes on there to make it a little safer. So that one, this one here is a 36 grit. I, I grab either 36 or 24 whichever's there. This is a DeWalt 402. Um, it's a newer version, supposedly, of the one that I had. It was that, that, that DeWalt was 15 years old, probably, give or take. And uh, this was the equivalent. This is this is one of the $150, $160 uh, ones. It's got a lot of torque on it. I forget what the amperage on it is, um, but it's got enough meat. It, it'll get double duty when I start messing around with the, the truck, my uh, old VW truck and stuff again. Uh, or my Citroen 2CV uh, doing the body work on it uh, that will get used. One thing I did notice on it, it's a little bit longer and a little bit heavier. It's a good uh, three inches longer than mine. You'll notice something on here as I pulled it out of the box. I put the handle on it and looked at the guard. Uh, fully intended to take the guard off, but I thought, why not leave it alone? and see uh, since I typically use the, the corner of it. So taking off the uh, nut holder and then the spacer underneath which has a notch on the side of it and then uh, there's a lock underneath my right hand there. This is standard on most DeWalt's. I'm, I'm not reviewing DeWalt's. I am a DeWalt fan just like I'm a still chainsaw fan. So putting that on there, looking at it, checking out to see the depth and I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave that spacer on there or not and uh, in the end of the story I did I did end up leaving the spacer on there I got enough threads uh, to bite on that but uh, setting it up to the way I want it and, and I'm not opposed to the guard the guard tends to get in the way sometimes especially on trucks and, and doing various different grinding uh, there's a reason for guards I don't recommend you do what I do and take the guard off there you do it at your own risk uh, in fact, don't do any of what I do here. Uh, if you're going to do this, wear, uh, wear gloves on your hands. And you'll notice throughout this one, uh, a little bit later on when I start playing around with it, the guard did have to come off. It's got a quick release. It's a pretty nice system. It goes in several different positions. I'm flipping the release there, and poof. Unsafe, automatically manufactured. No longer can you sue them uh, for uh, grinding your hand. And it will grind your hand. So they're setting it up the way that I like to play with it. I really kind of handicapped. Over the years, I've, I've had this sitting beside that stump or a stump there. And uh, when I want to take a piece off real quick, this is, this is my kind of go-to. So I did leave the sound off. It's loud and obnoxious, just like you'd expect it would be. Um, and it is a little bit longer. And you see, I'm, I'm hanging on to that pretty good because I don't know how much torque uh, this thing's got. I figured being a newer version is going to have a, a little bit more oompa and it does and it's a it'll take me a little while to get used to this. I was used to the balance on the other one and I went ahead and changed the handle that I put on the wrong side to the, the good side so my left hand and now I thought I'd see how well it does cleaning this stump up and I, I put quite a bit of pressure on it and uh, wasn't able to bind it down. Uh, I didn't use it long enough to, to get it hot, but I doubt that it would get hot. It's got, got nice construction on it. And the only thing is it's a little bit longer, so I'm going to uh, have to be a little more careful getting used to it. Hey, uh, the last video I said that I, I was missing some footage while I was playing around with the DeWalt footage. In the middle of it is uh, the owl, all finished, antiqued. And, uh, and he's got a little bit of a clear acrylic on the rock. Uh, for the moxie. It, it doesn't look as nice in person as it does for real. Um, so 
Yeah, here's another project that you're going to see maybe later today or tomorrow if I get it get it out. This is I did an owl on the top of a piece of cottonwood and an old spirit man below him, and uh, I wanted to try out my new uh, Dewalt setup, and that is an example of how I use um, the Dewalt. And you can see I am using it one-handed, and I am being very very careful with this one, uh, a lot more careful than I was before with my other one because I don't have a good feel just yet for the torque on this thing and it's going to take a little while just like uh, every tool that you use you got to get used to using it so I'm being a little cautious and I'm cutting out the part where there's going to be an owl standing on the top and it's quicker just to take it down uh, with this real quick and it's my preferred style of carving in fact uh, when I was doing some of the other stuff before these things started coming back in and there's a bunch more stuff coming in I'd be sitting there and I'd think, man, I wish I had had a DeWalt sitting there with the sanding disc on it. That'd be quick work. I could get this plane cut down exactly where I wanted it uh, without uh, messing around too much. You can see I don't have the dust collector system going up and uh, that hasn't come in yet. Uh, someone wrote, hey, use a shop vac. I actually do have a shop vac next door. I need to dig it out. Um, but uh, this was done before I redid the Stuga and cleaned out and I'm kind of crowded in the corner there so that's how I use the DeWalt and uh, you can expect to see the video on the owl that's going to be on the top of that and the old spirit man uh, below that poof I'm happy to have my DeWalt back and uh, there's another video coming up real quick and I'll just show you the the, the end of that here's a, a spirit man that I did a while back it was sitting in there it was in the fire and uh, it's got some unique stuff and I did a little video on that um, and I'm just putting some coffee on it right now because I had it sitting there to see how it came out after I cleaned him up from post fire damage and it's got and took the solder off of it some solder got on him so I uh, look forward to those couple more videos there's two or three more I've got down here thanks a lot this has been Ben with Studio on the Lake